I'm a non-traditional student. I'm 44 years old, starting my first year here at DCOM. Uh, so this is actually my third job. Uh, I served in the military for 18 years and retired from that. I was a medic, uh, one of the combat line medics, so I was much younger, much thinner back then, so that was nice. Uh, during that time I went to school and finished my school as soon as I retired and became a rabbi. Our daughter uh, became very ill while we were in Philadelphia and uh, we took her to one of the local hospitals, a very good facility, and I was in, the, in that environment again. And my wife saw, saw me just light up as I was able to help her just a little bit with her care. And so my wife came to me in the cafeteria of the hospital one day and said, why don't you, you know, transition out being a rabbi and go do what you love. I'll take care of the kids, I'll get a job, go back to school. It has been uh, the dizzying heights of ecstasy to the, the drudging pits of despair, all of that within one academic year. I love what we're learning. I love medicine. It's, and the more I learn, the more I know I don't know, which makes me hungry to know more. It's wonderful. Uh, the professors are extraordinary, gifted, brilliant people. My colleagues, all of whom are half my age, extraordinary, gifted, brilliant people. Uh, I feel like I stumbled into a room full of Picassos. Nothing quite prepared me for the academic uh, demands of medical school. We are swallowing entire texts here, 800, 900,000 pages in one semester. And uh, I see the necessity of it. We're trying to become physicians. But I, <laughs> I was not ready for that. A friend of mine who's a rabbi uh, in the Midwest asked me if I was completely out of my mind for wanting to do this in my middle age time of life. Uh, and uh, probably there's a little bit of craziness, there's a little bit of insanity that has to accompany that. But uh, it's about passion, right? And it's about calling. And regardless of age, if a person is called or has a passion to become a physician or a PA or a veterinarian or a, a nurse, it is never, never, never too late to turn the ship of one's life to the direction where one's passion is. Never. There are people who are in their 60s and 70s graduating med school. So that makes me feel pretty good. Uh, but also knowing that I will get to spend the rest of my life, regardless of how long that is, doing what I absolutely love, and that helps people as well. Oi, does it get better than that? No, not at all.